semen retention is holding so many people back in life because it is preventing them from successfully quitting porn. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I think that semen retention is nonsense. I've tried semen retention, so many people have tried semen retention, and me included, I, I did feel like I had that energy towards life. You know that, <clears throat> well you just, <clears throat> you have a certain feeling, right? You have a certain energy, absolutely. Whether it's placebo or not, you get that energy and it makes you feel a certain way. It gives you a certain amount of motivation, a certain amount of hype towards life, yes. I'm not saying that semen retention is complete nonsense, that I don't believe in it, whatever. But I am saying that I see so, so, so many people that try to quit porn and then they also try to do semen retention on top of that because they've been told that that's what you're supposed to do because it's called no fap and so you're not allowed to fap, you're not allowed to bust nuts. And because they think that you're not allowed to bust nuts, it becomes incredibly hard for them to quit porn because the, the temptation rises, right? The urges keep rising and as the urges increase, well, then you are more likely to relapse to porn. Whereas if you would just have real sex with a real person, or even just jack it off without porn, you have a way to release the urge without te being tempted to start watching porn again, right? It's like, it's a backup, it's, you know, it's not even a backup plan, it's just a plan. It's just a, a way to handle your sexuality without turning towards porn all the time. You know, so many people are going to say, Rob, you are wrong. Guys, don't listen to Rob. They're going to place comments like that. They're going to say, semen retention is incredibly important because our ancestors knew about it. And it's called no fap. So you're not allowed to fap, even without porn. No, don't do it. Don't ever do it. This is the thing. Listen up. These people making comments like that, I guarantee you, that they haven't actually managed to quit porn themselves. They haven't actually managed to stop busting nuts themselves. They aren't on semen retention because they keep relapsing all the time, which is exactly why they're here in the comment section watching a video like this. Because they haven't managed to quit. They, it's not working for them. Their strategy is not working for them. And then they're here in the comments telling me that I'm wrong and that you shouldn't listen to me and that you should absolutely never bust a nut ever because it's called no fap and you're not allowed to, to ejaculate and you're supposed to do semen retention. It's, it's incredibly important. It's not that important. Again, I am not saying that it's complete nonsense, but it's not that important. What is really important is quitting porn. That is the stuff that actually destroys your dopamine system. That is the stuff that actually rewires your sexuality to the point where you can't get it up anymore or you give yourself a cuckold or a sissy fetish or something, right? That is the stuff that can actually mess up your life. And quitting porn can actually make a drastic improvement to your life. Doing Seymour attention probably won't. Yeah, it might give you like an extra amount of energy. You haven't busted a nut in a week or two weeks and then you feel a little hyped and you feel like you're a little extra energetic. But that's not going to make a difference. I mean, just look at the world. Just look at other people. Most successful people, most very rich people, most very productive people do not give a shit about semen retention. They have women that they sleep with as often as they want, right? They bust a nut in women as often as they want, and yet they are still productive millionaires or whatever. Semen retention isn't going to make the difference between living a crappy life or living a good life. It isn't. Porn is. Well, it can 
not for everyone, but for a lot of people, it can. So quitting porn should be priority number one. And let me say this again, this is the point of this video. Doing semen retention on top of trying to quit porn makes it harder significantly harder because these things are just hard, right? <laughs> Let's be honest, it is incredibly hard. We are dealing with our strongest biological instinct we have right here. Our drive to spread our DNA. This stuff is, takes a, an amount of discipline, it takes an amount of willpower. And it's a simple fact that the more you try to do on top of each other, the harder it is. There, there is a bunch of scientific literature that shows this. The more changes you try to make in your life at once, the harder it is, the lower the chance that you're going to stick to it. If you are going to put semen retention on top of trying to quit porn, it's going to make it harder. If it's working for you, no problem. I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't do it at all. I mean, if you have successfully managed to quit porn and you are successfully doing semen retention right now, by all means continue. Absolutely. But if you are someone that is trying to quit porn and you are also trying to do semen retention and it's not working for you, you keep relapsing all the time because the urges get too high and then you relapse. Stop caring about semen retention for now. Just stop it. If you get an urge, just fap it off without porn. Just fap it to your fantasy have sex with real people if you have the opportunity and just quit porn for now. Just quit porn. And if you've managed to quit porn, then maybe if you want to, worry about semen retention. You don't even have to, because like I said, it's not gonna make the difference between a crappy and a great life. But if you want to, Worry about semen retention later if you have successfully managed to quit porn. But until you have successfully managed to quit porn, stop trying to do semen retention because it is going to hold you back. It is going to make it harder for you. Go bust a nut to your fantasy right now.